Hi, this is Dunamis333. My brothers and sisters, let's take stock of where we are. Now, this is the uh, first month of the Jubilee year. It started on the 14th of May. We had uh, the Blood Moon on the 26th of May. Then we had Passover on the 14th. Is a on the Hebrew calendar, which is 27th of May. We had the um, first day of unleavened bread, which is uh, runs for seven days from the 28th of May to the 3rd of June. We had first fruits on the 29th. We were hoping for a first fruit rapture. It didn't happen. But the good news is that we are still in the Passover week. Today is the 1st of June and we're in the Passover week until the seventh day. This day is extremely high watch rapture. Now, there's a possibility that this could be when we're going home. Do I, do I know for certain? No. But I would like us to take a closer look at this day, the 21st day of the Hebrew month, the 3rd of June. Now, why, why is this so important? Um, let's look at it from the perspective of it's the last day of the Passover week. Keyword being the last day. Um, uh, I'd like to also bring out a point here. There's um, a, a young, a young, uh, a seven-year-old boy. I like. Uh, I put this link in my, in my, um, in the comments. This seven-year-old boy. He had a rapture dream. Guess on what day? On the 29th of May. And in the rapture, in the rapture dream he had, he was shown a wedding in heaven. The bride getting married. Uh, to to the Lord and then the wedding banquet he had this dream on the 29th of um, May which is uh, I believe is very significant so we, we know we are close so this is the uh, countdown clock to the um, end of the 3rd of June we have about two more days and an hour when I, as time I'm making of this uh, video so that's the time we have left so why is this date important? It's the seventh day. It could also be the last day of the feast, the last day that the Lord was speaking about. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, read what I've written out here. Now, this is the um, verse, Leviticus 2, Le Leviticus 23, 6 to 8. And on the 15th day, that was our 20th of May. Of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread to the Lord. Seven days. That's the 28th to the 3rd of, of June. 28th of May to the 3rd of June. You must eat unleavened bread on the first day. You shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. But you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord for seven days. Now, maybe may be wondering, what is the offering made by fire to the Lord? This fire is... The love of God. Mm -hmm. This is what we receive through the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. It's the love of God that we have that enables us to love the Lord and love one another. Our worship of Jesus Christ must have this fire in it. So those who are worshipping the Lord, those who have, uh, who have the love of God in them, during these seven days are the ones that are going to be gathered on the day of the Holy Spirit convocation if you don't have this fire of the love of god in your heart you're not going to be gathered this is what this means you see it's almost as if god is saying those who are filled with my fire with my love on the last seven days are the ones that are going to be gathered up on the seventh day so the seventh day is the holy convocation and this is what i wrote here it's very likely that the seventh day of the feast of unleavened bread is the last day the lord was referring to when he said this is the will of my of the father who sent me that that of all he has given me i should lose nothing but should raise it up at the last day could it be that the seventh day is the last day of the feast and this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the son and believes in him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him 
and I will raise him up at the last day. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Notice how many times the Lord is letting us know that the resurrection is going to take place on the last day. It's very likely, very possible that the last day the Lord had in mind is the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And also another uh, case in point, before I continue with this, is what the Lord said here. This is um, this is Luke 22. Look what the Lord said here. It says, With fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Until it, that is, until the Passover is fulfilled. All that has to happen for Passover to be fulfilled in the kingdom of God is for us to experience the rapture on the last day of the Feast of Passover. That is on the seventh day. That's all that has to happen. If we are in heaven on the last day, the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, this will be fulfilled. And look at what the Lord says again here. I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. So my brothers and sisters, I'm believing that the kingdom of God is going to come on the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So this, we, this has to happen during Passover. The kingdom of God has to come during Passover. The, kingdom, um, the, we, the, the Passover has to be fulfilled in the kingdom of God during Passover. That's why, you know, the Lord coming for us on the last day of Unleavened Bread is very, very, um, I think it's, it's a very big chance that that's when we're going home. Now, look at what it says here. This is to do with um, the resurrection of Lazarus. Also, with regards to the resurrection of Lazarus, the Lord said to Martha, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. It seems to me that everyone, you know, in the time of Christ knew that the resurrection is going to take place at the last day. What I believe the Lord has shown us now, that this last day is the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That is when the wedding uh, banquet can take place. That is when we can be in heaven. You see? Now here I expounded on this text. So um, I would I'd like to encourage you to read it uh, without obviously without my um, what, what I wrote here. But this is what I this is how I understand this text. John eleven twenty three to twenty six. This is what I wrote. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die in other words, that is, though he may die physically before the last day. You see? So how many people have died in Christ before, before, the, before June 3rd? He shall live. That is, he shall live again in a glorified body on the last day. And whoever lives, that is, whoever is physically alive on the last day. This is referring to us who are physically alive now. And believes in me shall never die. This is because we are going to receive our glorified bodies on the last day. Do you believe this? So, you see, what this is what the Lord is explaining to her, what the last day actually means. It means, if you die before the last day, you're going to resurrect on the last day. If you're alive on the last day, you're not going to die, because you're going to be changed. And that, this is basically a reference to the rapture itself taking place. The dictionary definition of convocation is the action of calling people together for a large form of assembly. Hmm? And this is where we see it alluded to here in Second um, Thessalonians 2, 1. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together, that's the convocation, gathering together to him. My prayer is that the seventh day of the Passover feast, the last day, and the great awesome day of the lord are one and the same day that's what i'm believing that's what i'm hoping is the case that the, the great awesome day that we read about in joel that's, that's alluded to in acts 1 20, 20 21 and the the last day that the lord was referring to and the seventh day of the feast of unleavened bread is one and the same day and the next day that comes up is thursday the third of june so this is what i i wrote here this is an, an update of what i've written before 
the sun shall be turned into darkness. That took place the, at the solar eclipse took place on the 15th of December 2020. And the moon into blood, we all um, witnessed that in the sky on the 26th of May before Passover, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. We thought the great and awesome day was first fruits, but it's not. We're now looking to the last day, the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened uh, on Bread. And shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That is, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be taken up in the rapture on the last day. So my brothers and sisters, this is where we are. Israel, Israel's 73rd birthday on the 14th of May was a major sign. But that day was day one, month one on God's calendar. I mean, look at it here. You can't make this up. This is, how do you, who would, who would have known that the 14th of May, the first day of the month, I mean, they've got it down as a third, but we know that the calendar is off by two months. And this is the first month. That's why this is Passover. This is uh, first fruits. And this is the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is, I believe, the great and awesome day of the Lord. This day going to sunset, as sunsets on this day going into uh the the 22nd is when i'm i'm believing that the rapture is going to take place i mean there are a lot of things happening um but my brothers and sisters i just wanted to put this out so that um be encouraged i believe this is it um we only have about how many days you know just two more days to go let me just refresh this page see how okay so two two days and one hour 22 minutes 47 or 45 seconds as I'm making this uh, video. So my sisters, be encouraged, continue to watch, continue to pray, continue to love one another, love your families, love the brethren, forgive, don't have, um, also very important, uh, what I read here, make sure that the, the fire of God's love is burning, you know, burning bright in your heart this is the last seven days this, this is the this is the, those who have the fire of god's love in the heart are those that are going up in the rapture if you don't have this fire of god's love you're not going to go up so and if you have it it will show it will show in love for for your family love for the brethren love for people around you it will show you if it's there it will show there's no way around it if you don't have it it won't show so don't be deceived by those who tell you you, you know god knows your heart well no you know people need to know your heart too your, your family needs to know your heart your the brethren need to know your heart your colleagues at work need to know your heart everybody that knows you need to know that you are a person filled with the love of god if the fire is burning bright it will show don't be deceived don't be deceived my brothers and sisters so my brothers and sisters i'll speak to you most likely it's going to be at the wedding banquet god, god bless you bye for now